The main target for development this year are projected as follows: the GDP growth of around five percent, over twelve million new urban jobs, surveyed urban unemployment rate of around five point five percent. CPI increase of around three percent, growth in personal income in step with the economic growth, a basic equilibrium in the balance of payments, grain output of over 650 million metric tons, a drop of around 2.5 percent in energy consumption per unit of GDP, continued improvement in the environment. In setting these targets, we considered involving a dynamic and home and abroad and other relevant factors. And it is not easy for us to realize these targets. We need policy support and joint effort from all fronts. We should adhere to the principles of pursuing progress while ensuring stability, promote stability through progress, and establishing new before abolishing the old. We should also be stabilizing employment and keep expectations of economic growth stable. We should also take good care of formulating measures. And overhaul and abolish policies, regulations that hinder high-quality development. We should intensify counter and cross-clinical adjustments through macro policies. We should appropriately enhance the intensify our pro proactive fiscal policy to improve its quality and effectiveness. We have set the def def deficit to GDP ratio for this year at 3 percent and the government deficit at 4.06 trillion yuan, an increase of 160 billion yuan over the year 2023. This year, 3.9 trillion yuan of、uh, special purpose bonds for local government will be issued. And also, we need to systematically address founding shortage facing some major projects for building a greater country and advancing national rejuvenation. These bonds will be used to implement major national strengths and build up security capacity in key areas. One trillion yuan of such bonds will be issued in 2024. The additional government investment is needed in many sectors this year. We also need to take efforts to meet the people's basic living standard and strictly control general expenditures. The central government will increase transfer payment to local governments for ensuring equal access to basic public services. Governments at the provincial level should allocate more physical resource at the low-level government to see to that that primary level the basic living needs are met.